Hello and welcome to video number four. We're going to talk about Facebook audience insights. This is basically a free tool that is available to anyone who has a Facebook account. And this is a very valuable tool because what Facebook is doing is it's giving you direct access to a lot of its data, which is very, very important. And it enables you to figure out a lot more about who you're targeting. So, so to give you some practical examples, let's head on over to the tool and show you all of it in action. Okay, so to get to Facebook Audience Insights, you'll need to go to business.facebook.com. You'll need to log in to your personal Facebook profile, and you'll need to set that up if you haven't. And after that, you'll need to click on the top, go to Audience Insights, and here we are. So what this allows you to do is, like I said, it allows you to enter a location, an age and gender, specific interests. And if you have a page, and let's say, for example, the page is highly populated or at least has a couple thousand people, you'll be able to figure out who exactly is inside that Facebook page in terms of demographics. Now, if you don't have a page, no big deal. I'm going to show you how to use a tool so that you can find the right information about the person that you're trying to target. Okay, so up at the top, we have location. I'm going to keep it at United States, but if you click this X here, you can actually change it to something else like Australia, like that. But in this case, you, we're going to do United States. And the next thing you can do is age and gender. So if you're targeting a niche, let's say that is mainly women, then you're going to want to click women here. But if it's mainly men, you want to click men here. And of course, if you're trying to target everybody, then it can be all male and female. And if it's a specific age group, you can select the minimum age group. So let's say that we want to target anybody from 30 and up. So 30 and up. So this can be any. We can change this to 30 to 65 plus. And then, of course, we have interest. Now, what I like to do is I usually like to start with the smallest amount. So 18 to any and all. Because what I want to do is not assume that I know who the demographic is. Unless I have had previous sales and a lot of the sales were just male or the a lot of the sales were just female so bear in mind your niche you know your niche better so what i like to start out with is interest so to kind of stick with what we were talking about earlier if we type in scuba and we have scuba diving here we see that this is an interest and up at the top we have 4 million to about 4.5 million people who are interested in scuba diving in the United States and that are all ages and all genders. Now, this is really interesting about Facebook. In order for them to be put into a specific interest, they have to have gone to websites that are related to scuba diving. So you can get more specific if you enter that in here. Now, if we take a look at demographics, you can see that about 56% are men and 44% are women. So we see that the majority appears to be about 25 up. So it's low here, it increases here, and then it decreases down here. So we can kind of gauge that the large amount of people in this interest are 25 to 34 or 25 to 44. Now, bear in mind, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are buyers yet, but this helps you paint the picture. Now, if we scroll down a bit, we can see that the majority of these people that are interested in scuba diving are married, and they have at least a college education level. So this is a well-educated group. 
we can see that the job title. Now, if I scroll to the right here, this is, is important because it, it tells you which one of these are increasing rapidly. Now, we can see that production has the most. So it has 21%, and then it's got transport and moving, 13%. So what this means is the people who are interested in scuba diving that are in this specific interest have this particular job title. Now, if we scroll up, we can click on page likes. And this is actually very interesting because this allows you to see which pages they like. So for example, we have uh, Jenny Springs, they, the specific clothing brand they're interested in, Salt Life and Grunt Style clothing store we can see outdoors and sporting goods company bass pro shops they're interested in they're interested in a lot of outdoors type shops websites musicians they're interested in tv shows that they like so duck dynasty so imagine being able to target let's say males from ages 25 and up, or maybe 25 to 45, who like Duck Dynasty and scuba diving. So you can you can create these conditional targets and target people specifically. So we go through, we see page likes, we can go visit the pages and take a look at uh, what they like and get an idea of how they're interacting with the page. What content are they viewing and all that. Now, if we scroll back to the top, we click on location. This allows us to see the top cities. So we can see Tampa, Florida, Honolulu, Hawaii. So a lot of Florida and Hawaii here, which kind of makes sense because Hawaii and Florida both have a lot of beaches, a lot of places to scuba dive. And then we have top countries, top languages. So we've got English. So bear in mind that because we are targeting the United States, that it's really only showing cities, countries, and languages within the United States. Now, if I were to make this worldwide, this would broaden our spectrum. So if you click on activity, we can get a better view of how people are interacting with this niche, what kind of devices they're using. They're using mainly mobile devices, iPhones and Androids. So we can see that a lot of them are not at desktop, which kind of gives us an idea that these, because these are outdoorsy people, they're most likely not going to be surfing on the inside or in their house, basically. So now let's take all this information and let's create an avatar in the next video.